right, hello, welcome. It's the shark stream. It's Thursday. It's God of War. God of War? Got War? What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. <clears throat> I am your host. As per the usual, it's me. It's Gage. Hi. <laughs> Um, and today we are going to be starting in on God of War, Chains of Olympus, Olympus, Ol Olympus, Ol Olympus, 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 it's been a long day, <laughs> <coughs> excuse me, so, what, it who just ran into a fucking door, Mitty? Mitty, are you body slamming your baby broder? Don't slap him. Hey! Yeah, they're playing. And slamming it through. Jeez! Y'all just tearing through. <coughs> the fast and the furious. <coughs> Excuse me. Y'all good? Mitty, be nice to your brother. He doesn't have as much body weight as you. You have much more power behind your strikes. Uh, so what is... Chains of Op... Champol... Champolim... Chanlimpus... Chanlim... What is this game? <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna end up clearing my throat a bunch during this stream. So Chains of Olympus is the first PSP game released for the God of War series Ugh. back when that was kind of what Sony was doing, was just like, hey, we have a bunch of these IPs, and we have this brand new system <coughs> called the Pispa. We should put games for some of these IPs and or franchises on the PISPA. And everyone was like, brilliant. So how? what do we do for that? Well, make similar games, but make them worse. <coughs> In every conceivable way. No, I shouldn't say that. I don't actually know that for sure. Because I never had a PSP. I didn't really feel like playing Nut outside. I was a DS kid. I'm like combing my hair at the same time. Because like I have very long hair right now. And I have to like comb on occasion. But they were like, yeah, let's let's put some of these IPs that we have on our, our mobile gaming system to make it, you know, a worthwhile system and compete with the Nintendo DS. And of course, we all know how that happened. Nintendo, or we all know how that went down. Nintendo, of course, would go on to dominate the handheld market and the, and Sony would send the PS Vita out to die. Um... <clears throat> And then there was the PSP Go at one point, which, like, was the herald for, uh, I think, was, I think, the herald for, like, digital-only consoles. So, thanks, Sony. Hey, Gordux, how's it going? Um, but God of War Chains of Olympus was the first of the God of War PSP games released. Now, they couldn't have any sort of, like, major story developments happen on any of the PSP games, because what if people didn't buy it? What if people didn't get a PSP? You know? So they're just like, shit, what do we do? Well, let's put some weird side stories on there. So, God of War Chains of Olympus is a, uh, prequel to God of War 1 that was released alongside God of War 2. Um, 
and I believe uh, parts of the like there's some tie-ins between the two games as well as between like this game uh, and God of War 3 also um, but nothing that like <clears throat> you would be like worse off for not knowing and nothing that you couldn't just like read about on Wikipedia later or like watch like a YouTube playthrough or something for. Although there weren't a whole lot of YouTube playthroughs at that time, admittedly. This was before the the true golden age of the Let's Play. Um But God of War Chains of Olympus takes place in the 10-year uh, period between uh, Kratos killing his family and renouncing Ares and the events of God of War 1, but not before the events of God of War Ascension, uh, which is important to, to um, keep in mind. Ascension takes place at the earliest point in the God of War series. It is the first game chronologically. Uh, now you might be asking, Gage, if this isn't like the first game chronologically, why are we playing it now? Or if this game took place before God of War 1, why are we playing it now, after God of War 1? To which I say... This game came out in the development cycle for God of War 2, so it has like God of War, some God of War 2 style um, quality of life improvements. And can you imagine going from something that has like God of War 2 style quality of life improvements back to God of War 1 when I already had kind of an awful time towards the end of that game? It would have, I, it, it would have been abysmal, quite frankly. It would have been just the worst. So, in my personally developed uh, God of War play order, I place Chains of Olympus after God of War One, so that we have the context of this story when we go into the uh, next two mainline games. Um, and so that we're not going absolutely abysmal God of War quality of life into somewhat better God of War 2 quality of life. Nods and contextualizing through purse owner. Yeah, exactly. Hello, Audrey. Welcome. Um, now, one of the big things that's going to be real nice about this is that God of War Chains of Olympus has uh, New Game Plus, <laughs> which God of War 1 did not have. So I will be going into this on a New Game Plus run so that I can just be absolutely busted and just super strong. And we don't have to worry about, like, things being particularly awful, at the very least in the early game. Um, I'm also going to show off some things I... I had a discussion with this with friends of the stream, Audrey and B. This is going to be the first game that has like a joke costume in it. This this game has costumes. I think all of the games have costumes, but this is the first one that has a joke costume that I actually have access to. I will unfortunately not be using the joke costume. I will show it on stream. You will get to see the image for it, but I will not be using it because we can't change the joke costume, or we can't change costumes mid-game. So, if I choose the joke costume at the start of the playthrough, I am committed to the joke costume for the whole game. And... My principles won't allow that. Unfollow, don't subscribe, can't believe you do this to me. <laughs> don't blame me! Blame who? What fucking? What? Who fucking developed this? This wasn't a David Jaffe one. Sony Interactive Entertainment was the publisher. Do we have like a 
Sony Computer Entertainment America. Blame Sony. Blame Sony Computer Entertainment in Amer of America in, like, the year 2007. It's their fault. They did it. Hmm. Ah, excuse me. On that note, we should probably get started. I gotta just get my headset plugged into the TV. Hold on. It is very warm in my room right now. All this fucking sun beaming through my windows. Fuck off, sun. Get out of here. It's actually very funny that I'm saying that with this game, considering how this game's plot goes. And on that note, our music for the pre-screen was actually, like, relevant, thematically. So we are playing the Origins Collection um, edition of Chains of Olympus, which I think I've got the Origins Collection around here somewhere. Where is that? Here it is. Ah, fuck. Shit. Okay. Don't drop stuff. Don't drop stuff. Here we go. You have an instruction manual. Learn the dark secrets of Kratos. Enjoy two classic adventures from the award-winning God of War series, until now only available on Pispa System. Both titles have been revamped and remastered for PlayStation 3 system with HD graphics, PlayStation Network trophies to collect, and stereoscopic 3D visuals to bring every brutal battle to life before your eyes. We're not going to be using stereoscopic 3D, you see. <laughs> but, like, I guess if you wanted to, it's there. I don't have a 3D television, and I don't think I could stream that sort of thing. <laughs> Fucking Santa Monica. Goddamn. Ready at dawn. That's who did it. That's who done it. Ah, fucking god damn it. <laughs> Just right away. No fucking beating around the bush. Just blah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is this is just nor just fucking okay, hold on. I got to Christ. So this is the I need to I need to take my headset off real quick. This is the normal costume. I like to think that's how Kratos starts all his video calls. What with half his face obscured? Like he's just over here. Everyone's just like Kratos, can you can you scoot to your right just a little bit? Way too close to the camera volume way too high. Kratos, Kratos, can you can you scoot to your right? Like, just a little bit. Is this any better? Anyway. <laughs> uh. So this is the standard costume. Here's the spud of war. We will not be using this. But look at him in his little tinfoil diapy. Look at that. It's potato cutter knives. He's in permanent dad selfie angles. Gage, why not? Because I just... He looks amazing. <laughs> because I want to... I, I do want to play this game with, like, the regular costume. And I can't change them mid-game. Mid and I don't want to have to play this off-stream up to the point that we get to with the Spud outfit. Gage is clearly the superior choice. <laughs> Listen. There's also, like... Other outfits that I don't have unlocked. I think this one is Mick, Mick Kratos. Where he's like... Irish. Or Scottish. And wears a kilt. And then this one is the Mime of War. But right now we've just got regular Kratos and the Spud of War. So we're, we're going to use regular Kratos. 
I'm sorry. I don't want to commit to the spud for the whole fucking playthrough. <laughs> oh, boy. This stream is a lot already. Shaking my damn head. Coward. You can... Listen. You can call me a coward all you want. It's not happening. It's not happening. Okay, now I kind of want to play with the Spud of War costume. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> oh, I got a trophy for that. Kratos, the once great general, now known as the ghost of Sparta, had pledged himself as a champion to the gods of Olympus. In return, he hoped only to rid himself of the nightmares that haunted him for far too long. But for now, his only respite, his only relief from the sins of his past, was found in the heat of battle. And on this day, Kratos had been called upon by the gods to confront an unthinkable evil. Yeah? Unleashed on the city of Attica by the invading Persian army. Persian Empire do be invading shit. This is really loud. Can we, can we crank that down a bit? Big, big dumb fist. I got the potato cutters, let's go! This is so dumb. <coughs> oh, I don't want to use this. Hold on. Here we go. So I have to pause this for a second, because, like, this is just really loud. Um, so, both of the PSP games have subtitles, because they were on the fucking PSP, and, like, you would probably need them. Um, we're gonna... When we get to God of War 2, it's not gonna have subtitles again. <laughs> There's only, like, of the six Greek-era games i should i say six but it's technically seven because there was like a cell phone game back when there were like flip phones there was a cell phone game you see and apparently i guess that's still considered canon i don't get it but um of the six Greek era games, only like four of them have subtitles, and the ones that don't have subtitles are the are the two PS2 games. Hey guys. Accessibility continues to be a sometimes food. Oh, right, I gotta go do this. Ballista? Ain't that guy what was in Guardians of the Galaxy? Can I, like, fuck with some options here? Because this is, like... Egregious. That's a little better. Let's go! Spud of War away! I think that was one of my guys. Whoops! <laughs>
What are we yelling about? Whatever, I don't care. So the controls are going to be a little bit different uh, in this because uh, they had to account for less buttons on the PSP. So like things that would have been like uh, R2 in like God of War 1 are circle. Ah! Please sir, no, I am but a humble spud. Oh. There's always a bigger fish. Watch out, Kratos, you're extra delicious now. <laughs> Thank you, man. Get out of here, kid. God. What a majestic creature. I forget what this thing's called. <coughs> Realizing my closest connection to God of War games is hearing the main theme because I used to go to those video game live concerts when they were local. I also used to go to those! Or I went to at least one of them. And I got like a couple of the albums and yeah, that was a... Uh, that featured big time, the God of War theme. Pretty good theme, honestly. Like, I've heard worse themes. Swarp? Alright. Step into the glowing light and press circle to save the game! I will not. Not yet, at least. Battering Ram isn't as cool as the Battering Ram in Urban Two Towers. Now that's a hell of a Battering Ram. I would like to save the game. God, it's so quiet now. This was always like my least favorite thing about like Sony systems, is that like at a certain point all of the games started using like this default PlayStation style, uh, fucking save UI. And it's just like, I think it's way neater when a game has its own built in UI for its save systems. But no. PS3. Ah! Okay. Hey guys, it's me, the Spirit of War. This is my voice now. God, it's gonna be real weird when Kratos has to go fuck ladies, and he's wearing the fucking potato costume. Hello, sir. How are you? Nope. Can I swim in this game? I can. Nah, it's fine. I requested it. It's what he deserves. <laughs> Kratos walks into the fucking brothel and he's like, 
the potato costume stays on. Fuck. Okay, turning cranks. You just received a tutorial message. These explain Kratos' ability. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I've been getting them for like the last 10 minutes. He's gonna be disabled in the options menu. Press the select button to access it. I mean, I was good before, but like, now I'm not sure since y'all being weird about it. Ow. Where did those guys even come from? Zoop! Go, potato! I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now. We may be using the potato costume now, but I am absolutely going to refuse to use the fish costume in God of War 2. That is non-negotiable. Go up this ladder. Thank you. Yump. Yump. Alright. Oh, hey. It's our friend. Horrible monster. I'm imagining in my mind's eye what this must have been like when I was playing through it the first time and like had none of the upgrades and golly I could only guess that it was probably abysmal ah bestie why Bestie, stop firing fireballs at me. Come on, Potato Man. Let's go. What evil have you wrought on this city, Persian? Evil? It is not evil that I bring, Spartan. I bring the might of Persia and the sacrament of purification. As we speak, my mm. basilisk cleanses this land I don't know about so that, that it may embrace the glory of the Persian Empire. Olympus has sent a message, and I am here to deliver it. <laughs> then you are just a messenger. So take this message back to your little gods. It will take more than a pathetic Spartan to stop the power of the Empire. Anyway, time for this pathetic Spartan to stop the power of the Empire. <laughs> ah! He's gifting 10 tier 1 subs. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, Natalie, for gifting so many subs. Are you like, where are you? Reggie, where's your mom? Is she gifting subs? Am I gonna have to wait this out now? Hold on. We got it. Hold on. We gotta wait. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. I do, I do need to... Okay. How many more we got? Okay. Yep. 
probably change that for the gift subs. Absolutely not. <laughs> It is important that it brings the stream to a screeching halt. <laughs> also, I think we're almost done. What was the la who's the last person that, that got one? It was B. We got two more. Yeah. Okay, we can continue the video game now. Hey Venom Please, lad, welcome to the Shark Spare my life, and I will give you all that you ask. You have nothing I want, Persian. Take my kingdom, my women, my gold. I won't take your riches, but I will take your life. Yeah, let's go! Go, Potato Man! Ooh! I have acquired the Efreet. Is this ever a real question, Gao? Potato told. <laughs> While holding R1, press triangle to activate Demon Fury. That was the wrong button. So just tell me what I want to know and I will kill you a little less painfully. Is there anything we can do to me? Well, okay, but the potato costume stays on. Oh, they're just really going for it, huh? Thank you. You're welcome. Very transactional. The gods have given you the opportunity to save your progress. That's awful nice of them. Video game. I can't believe that the cowards at Sony Santa Monica never got Kratos totally naked to show off his ass and or dick. Not like the Chad developers at Visceral Games with Dante's Inferno. Post nut save point. Jet Set Radio tag sounds play when you put input correct inputs. Press circle to kick the ladders down. I will do this. I'm just gonna... Haha, <laughs> see ya losers. Oh fuck! That's a mod I can support. What happens if I do it again? Anything? Nothing? <laughs> Nothing. I don't really need either of these. I'm actually doing pretty good. Probably because I'm just fucking super busted. Bye.
It's kind of weird that, like, seconds ago, those women were, like, fearing for their lives that they were going to be murdered by this big per Persian general. And then they're just like, oh, wow. Almost being murdered really puts me in a mood to fuck, I guess. <laughs> super, super busted those nuts. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Ah, a Cyclops. I don't think that guy's gonna be able to Ooh, Spooky Man. Ow. My potato is getting thoroughly mashed! Kratos was just a more violent Aphrodite. <laughs> Admittedly a difficult act to follow. <laughs> story spin-off I've ever seen. Okay, is Mr. Potato Head. Thank you for coming to my stream. The gods have given me the opportunity to save my progress. And they will continue to do so even when it does not benefit them. When it would effectively make things worse for them, in fact. Wall climb! Use the left stick to move along walls. Push the left stick and X to quickly jump along the wall. I will do this thing. Heck off. Get this out of here. Get this out of here. Get this out of here. I had to destroy that barrel. It was important. If you see any lag, that's not the stream, that's that's the game. Because the game's being streamed, and I'm streaming the game. It's all a bit technical. But that's PS Now for you. For at least as long as I've got PS Now. I'm probably going to do that PS Plus thing once that comes available, honestly. Like, if there is, like, decent support for that, like, I would definitely be down for, like, getting that. I could... Yo! If there's good support for that, like, if they really, like, fill out that library for that, I would absolutely get it because, oh man, I could get the Silent Hill Dungeon Crawler. Can you imagine?
Oh, I also found out that God of War Ragnarok is actually going to be on PS4 as well, so I don't even need to worry about, like, pulling out a PS5 to get that, to play that on stream. Legacy of King can come back. Finally! This background track where the brass section is just going nuts in the background. What is Kratos wearing? Hot dog? No! Potato! He is the Spud of War! And we're going to be the Spud of War for... For the whole game! Because <laughs> I can't change costumes mid-playthrough. And you can thank Audrey for peer pressuring me. <laughs> The only way that we would stop being the Spud of War is if I were to play through everything in the game up to where we stop today, off stream. Dead body. Go to Snipe called him names until he caved. <laughs> You're not playing it in potato quality. I mean, I'm already, like, streaming this from PlayStation Now on Wi-Fi. I don't know that there's much else. I could put a Faraday cage over my goddamn router. Also, like, it's an upscaled PSP game. Like, it's already kind of potato quality in and of itself, admittedly. I just find it weird that they're doing this whole, like, upgraded PS Plus thing instead of just, like, you know, further bolstering PS Now, the service they've already got. Wasn't there a meme? Just shot in potato. I don't really know. Reduce stream to 160p. <laughs> I can't do that while I'm streaming, unfortunately. Also, I wouldn't want to do that while I'm streaming. Actually... Are there, like, options for... No, there isn't an option for, like... Hmm. Damn. 160 potato. Potato. Porto. Porto prongs. Okay, so then what do I have to do? What's a guy gotta do to hold a door open around here? Nope. I like him just casually carrying the corpse. There's a movie where a guy mispronounces potato as porto. Portato. Potato, 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 potato. 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 That is a load bearing corpse. <laughs> Truly. I can't break in there. Any other corpses around here? I'm killing a bunch of guys, but. Hmm. Very odd. He does say potato. He says porto. Porto potty. What am I saying? Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Oh, that. Oh. Oh, fuck. That tensed up all the muscles in my torso. Shit. Give me a second. I'm like really sore all, all of a sudden. Okay, I'm good. Greasy Strangler. Where do I feel like I've heard that name before?
I watched Knives Out recently. Uh, okay. Well, my movie today... What was my movie for today? It was Dungeons and Dragons. That's right. The fucking Dungeons and Dragons movie. Did you know that movie had two sequels? One of them was like straight to video in the UK only. Yeah, the one with Jeremy, Jeremy Irons. That is, in fact, the one I'm referring to. That movie sucks. I found out that they're tr that they're in the middle of making another Dungeons and Dragons movie, which I think might be something I already knew and then just forgot. But it's going to be coming out in like 2023, and Chris Pine's in it. Which, in terms of Chris's that you could have chosen for your movie, is not a bad choice for a Chris. Like, there's four major choices for Chris's for you to have in your movie, and, like, three out of four of them are pretty good. Chungeons and Dragons. Yeah, he's not Chris Bratt. Officially announced voice of Garfield. Like, fuck off. <laughs> to hear his Mario and just have my soul fucking dissipate. I am also ready for this. At least we have Sonic. Back, foul beast! Ow. Ow. Oh no, I'm so delicious. I've taken to calling Donkey Kong Seth Rogen whenever he disappoints me, which is frequently. <laughs> I don't know that that made any sense, but okay. Maybe it's because I started spinning it in one way, and then I started spinning it in the other way? Oh, That looks like a heart! Please don't leave fire on me. I am a simply a delicious little potato man. Fuck! Ugh. I 
I'm a heckin' small Patabo. Fulfilling his commitment to the gods, Kratos defeated the basilisk brought forth by the Persians. But this small victory would not satisfy the man who had come to be known as the Ghost of Sparta. Ghosty this is Sparta. All you would have me do. Is there nothing else? Oh, that's no good. That's not generally the sort of behavior you want to see from the sun. Seeing the sun plummet through the sky and the world plunge into darkness, Kratos knew this was not a sign from the gods. <laughs> Is there nothing else? Well, since you asked. Setting his sights on the glowing horizon, Kratos made his way toward the mysterious light. But there was more afoot than Kratos could possibly know. Oh, I hate when more is afoot than I could possibly know. It's my least favorite thing. I don't know, that seems like Greek god behavior to me. This mortal yelled at me, so I'm going to throw a tantrum. In the dark, oh, the potato! Morpheus, the <coughs> god of dreams, awakened to a world where he and only he wielded power. Morpheus, land, Dorpheus, Orpheus. Overrun by a black fog, Fuck you, misplaces the sun. Everything it touched. I will not. Ah, the city of Marathon. You know, like the game by Bungie? Giant mobile home in the distance. I mean, you're not entirely wrong. Run for your lives. Ugh, typical of people from Marathon, always running. Oh, well. Excuse me, sir. Ow. Typical Marathonians. What's over here? Is this anything? Which way is critical path here? Oh! So some of these chests were supposed to be like uh, life and uh, magic upgrades, but I've got them all already. This is a new game plus. <laughs> Actually, I'm getting all these experience orbs. I know that there's some stuff that I have that will probably... Wait, no, everything's at maximum. Well, fuck me, I guess. We're just collecting them because I want to now. Isn't there a book where the kids have to always walk or else they're gonna get killed by soldiers and one of them and one of them left to survive? That is a Stephen King book. Uh, that I don't recall the name of off the top o me nog. But that was a Stephen King book. You mean Richard Bachman? No. Well, yeah, I guess. I guess I do, huh? 
I suppose. The fog is alive! Oh, the fog is alive, apparently. Alright, everybody take note of that. The fog is alive. It's important. It's not. The power of Morpheus affects even Kratos as he was haunted by a strange melody. Potato ass. I can't believe I was talked into using the potato costume. Are those The Fog is Alive movies any good? I feel like there's been multiple. There was The Mist, which is also a Stephen King joint. Um, the movie of which is pretty good. Um... There's a black and white version of that one that uh, I haven't seen yet, but I want to. Um, and I know that that was adapted into a TV show as well, which I haven't heard a lot about. Kratos looks great, okay? Don't worry. <laughs> I'm a little worried. Just a bit. Ah! A Gorgon! Why Gorgon have yell power? Gorgon no have yell power. Absolute clown shoes. I know there was a movie titled The Fog, John Carpenter movie in the 2005 remake that nobody likes. No Gorgon! No Gorgon, stop! Ah, a Gorgon, is what people say when I leave my work desk. I'm imagining, like, your current haircut as, like, Gorgon snakes and, like, that little ahoge you got going on is just, like, a little snake just poking up. Alright, you have a good one, designer gaze. Wait, hold on. No! What's this spud to do? What's this do? Is that like timed or like what's the deal with that? My hair is short enough that it does comical anti-gravity when I wake up in the mornings again. It's great. Glad to hear it. One day I'll get a haircut. One day. Should probably be soon, actually. What am I supposed to fucking do with this? I can't, like, put it down or anything. I just have to kind of carry it. Hey guys, did you know what I was supposed to do with this thing? I just sort of picked it up and didn't really give any thought to it. Ooh, hey, what's this? Oh, I can't, I can't use that. Guys, I really need to know what to do with this. Can you, like, give me some, some advice? <laughs> Wow, you guys are terrible shots. <laughs> I was half joking with the hairdresser we should go ro do Roxy FNAF colors next, but now I'm like, what if Roxy FNAF? What if I just lose my fucking noodles? I wish I knew any cool hairdressers around here, but like, this is fucking goddamn... Tejas. And like, not even like fun Tejas. Like, Austin. Like, boring Tejas. People out here wouldn't know a fun haircut if it came up and bit them on the brisket. Speaking of which, did you enjoy Natalie dropping brisket lore in the cat pool chat the other day? 
coming over. We got Geek Salong. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to know what a brisket was, but was too shy to ask. If you ever want to know anything about, like, not just Texas cuisine, but, like, cuisine in general, Natalie is not a bad place to start, honestly. Look at this nightmare cat. Ow, ow, ow. I just, I saw someone talk about, like, Big Red as if it was, like, as, like, a, a, a rare thing that they get to enjoy. I'm just like, we got Big Red for days over here, because this is Texas. This is where Big Red, Big Red, like, happens. That cat looks like a whole world of Warcraft. Just the entire thing. All right, here we are at the Temple of Helios. Oh. approached the temple. It became clear that the task ahead Who's talking? was more than he could have ever imagined. Who said that? Don't talk to me. Boreas, the North Wind. Here rests Boreas, the North Wind, who leads the path of the Sun Chariot and guides his brother Zephyros. Eros and Notos on their perpetual voyage, drawing the sun across the skies. What's this? The Shrine of the Fire Steeds. The Fire Steeds are the winds of the skies that draw the sun chariot of the sun god Helios. I found out today Helios is not a god, he's a titan. False advertising. I don't know what to do with this. Would you like to save the game? Yeah. I think they're in Switzerland. McDonald's serves actual food in their McCafe. Wild as fuck. Yeah, I think that's what I got from them as well. Is that or Sweden? I don't remember. They live in Europe. Then they started asking about brisket. I'm just like, I know someone who knows a lot about brisket. I'm just like, please, allow me a moment to summon my beautiful wife. Yeah, technically that's Apollo, but Apollo gets to be the god of like a million different things, like an asshole. Yeah, I was looking that up earlier. Once again, the strange, lingering melody could be heard through the black fog of Morpheus, haunting Kratos. What is that? Is that the Bagel Bites jingle? Close your heart to the Bagel Bites. Phone's buzzing. Hold on. <laughs> uh. All right, Audrey, you can ask me food questions anytime. Ooh, ooh. see what I tell you. Natalie is down to chat about food and the making thereof. Where am I going? I'm going this way now, I guess. Go, potato, go! Is this critical path? This is critical path. The temple on which Kratos stood was the sun chariot of Helios. I guess the I don't really need to do extra stuff, because, like, pulled across the sky every day, I'm already super busted. Of Helios to shine down on all mankind. Kratos. Oh, hey, Athena. Athena. What madness has befallen us? Kratos, there is not much time. 
Olympus needs you. I grow tired of the gods' request, Athena. I have given enough. Didn't you just now say? Now take okay. these nightmares from my head. It is not for you to say when your servitude ends. You will earn your freedom in time. But for now, Olympus needs your unquestioning obedience. The God of the Sun has been torn from the sky. This temple on which you stand is the Chariot of Helios. <coughs> Without their master to reign them, the Fire Steeds have driven the Sun Chariot into the earth. Sucks. And without Helios, there is no one to keep Morpheus from seizing permanent power. Also sucks. Many of the gods have fallen into a deep slumber. Oh no. Soon, all will succumb to the black grip of Morpheus. But he was my favorite Matrix character. You must find Helios and return him to the sky. Lest the world of gods and man be lost forever. I love how she added on and man just kind of as an afterthought. Can release Sleepy time. of Morpheus. Athena! 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 Ares! Zeus! Various other... <laughs> Excuse me. Can I go back down there? <laughs> Just imagine Chris being like, You know what? I don't want to deal with this. I'm good, actually. Find Helios to return him to the skies, lest the world of God's man be forever lost. All we got around here was this. Was this? Fuck this gate. So we gotta find the steeds, so that we can reactivate the chariot. I forget how long this game is. I think it's shorter because it's a pispa game, as opposed to a pis two game. And pispa games, because the pispa had a shitty battery and also was a handheld system, not designed to be played necessarily for long, long periods of time, games tended to be shorter. So who knows how long we're going to end up playing this for, but hopefully it's not going to be quite as abysmal towards the end as God of War 1 was. Fingers crossed. I feel like I only played like two games on the pss, 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 pss. Unlike the PS3, the PlayStation Portable did have games. Ow, ow, ow. Stop throwing shit at me. This isn't God of War 2. Hello, Lucas! It's not! It's Chains of Olympus! The first of the PSP games! I am playing it before God of War 2 because it has relevant plot connections to both God of War 2 and 3. It's good to see you, Lucas. I hope you're having I hope you're having a solid one. What's this do? Ooh! Oh whoa, I see digitigrade grade legs. What are those things? And hello, doing good, thanks. I'm not sure what those are. Just finished drawing for the night. Nice! I would have to, like, look at, like, a God of War Chaney Limps bestiary, defeated by a potato, they are. <laughs> I finished the bunny and a Gatomon. Ooh, 
very nice. Which one's got him on again? Oh, wait, no, I know who got him on this. Oh, no! Scary man. These look like maybe they're like satyrs? Potentially, some sort of goat man's. Some will get, but White got him on her female, just like the guy getting on my case because of Scarless Lugosi. Digimon, by definition, don't have gender. Renamon taught us that. Thanks, Renamon. May you forever walk the hallowed halls of the furry fandom. Uh, two Digiman series X toy. Digiman? Digimon don't have yet. Renamon in the original. No gender. Uh, I actually didn't know that. Yeah, it's true! A little fun fact for you. I only saw the first Digimon. I was like, I missed out on this toy as a kid. I can get it now. The dub team. Sexy saxophone. I mean, Renamon can be agender and sexy. There's no reason why, sh why they can't be. But yeah, Lucas, there's actually a line that Renamon uh, says at one point uh, during, I want to say, in the series that they uh, premiered in. Where they're just like, oh yeah, Digimon don't actually have gender. That explains the types of fan art Renamon gets, I think. <laughs> I've seen Renamon fan art of all types. Renamon deserves it, honestly. Like, good on you, bestie. Look at this guy. Fuck this guy. I don't know who that was. I hit him in the ankles a bunch and he broke, so he must be Achilles. Ah, shit! I was going to use a Renamon pick I found to try and redesign Arch's body. You should definitely do that. Mostly because of the curbs. Give me that curvy twink. Well, anyway, now nah, remember mom being like, hey big guy, sexy sexy is fine, but like they went out of their way to have the other Digimon be like, hey lady, hey toots. <laughs> okay, that's maybe a bit much. If I learn anything, gender and sexuality don't matter to Horny. It's true. Despite what some people may have you believe, but those people don't deserve to have their opinions heard. The Temple of Helios! The Temple of Helios sits atop the Sun Chariot. It is home to the Sun God Helios, drawn across the skies by the Fire Steeds. It rises every day from the east and sets in the west, where it rests until the new dawn. Bunkers. Anyone remember that show? I remember liking that show. Then there's Sistermon, the sexy nun Digimon. She has vacuum sealed tits. I mean, don't most of them? Don't most of, like, the, the sexy lady Digimons? I didn't really watch a lot of Digimon. I was a Pokemon kid. Most of them, yeah. Ah! 
My problem with Digimon is, look at Gatomon, then look at what they digivolve into. I forgot what Gatomon digivolves into. Digivolution makes no sense to me. Like, sometimes it's permanent, sometimes it isn't. Make up your fucking minds already! The thing with Digimon is that they can turn into all kinds of weird shit depending on how they're raised. Abby Howard has the best comic about that. Abby Howard has good comics about a lot of stuff, honestly. <coughs> What's this do? I'm just walking around doing things. You know what I am? I'm a dog chasing cars. A bunch of them seem to turn to human looking things or loaded with armor and stuff. I like Pokemon's less heavy designs. Isn't there one that's just like guns on guns on guns? I think it's one of the Greymon Digivolutions. Oh, my nose is running. Ugh, fuck these allergies, man. Ugh. That's several of them. You sure that wasn't a meme image? No, I think it was real! <laughs> Ugh. Ordi? Who is Ordi? Ordio Irv. <laughs> nah, I know what you meant. There is, there is an E in there that you're still missing. Okay, just sent you the evolution chart for funsies. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so you got a little guy who evolves into a different little guy who can evolve either into another little guy, a weird cat, or a horrible troll. Who can... The other little guy can then evolve into Gatomon, who then goes sexy lady style, and then a black Gatomon, which also goes sexy lady style. Weird cat goes into a further weird cat, and then, I don't even know, is that a third sexy lady style? Uh, and then the horrible troll becomes another horrible troll, thus begets a horrible minotaur, which then begets some sort of weird xenomorph bug thing with a sword, and then... Some kind of samurai, and a samurai, but it's on fire, and then a samurai with a horse. Oh, alright. The Digimon I like tend to be simpler designs with buff potential. My favorite is Flame Dramon, personally, and I like to think I have good taste. I don't think that's even the most updated chart. Oh boy! <laughs> I had like a little, uh, I had a Flame Dramon toy as a kid that was like, cause it's like, they, the Flame Dramon was an egg digivolution. There was like a, there was like a fire egg that you used on Vimon, and it turned into Flame Dramon. And the toy that I had was like the little egg that then transformed, like, Transformer style into Flame Dramon, and it was really cool. And I wish I could get it again, but I think it's like a lot of money to try and buy. The quick time events seem a little bit more forgiving in this one. I like Flame Dramon too, but I'm not sure what my favorite is. It's super fun to dig around with in RPGs though, because you can go through a bunch of different guys and get wildly different results. Like, B and I spent a bunch of time raising a specific one because I'm like, I want the horrible one from the movie that launched the nukes. <laughs> ah, a big boy. 
Oh, he's got that, like, weirdo gladiator helmet. And now he is our friend. Vimon, Gomamon, Gatamon, Wargreymon, Exavimon, Beelzemon, Falkmon, that large bug from one from the second anime from the top of my head. Oh, and Gilmon. I just know Vimon and Flamethemon, and that's pretty much. And Agumon. I remember Agumon very clearly. Because I always remember being like, Agumon, Digivolve 2! And then he would, he would Digivolve. You know, those Digimon, digital monsters, boy howdy, they were the champions. Where am I? The fuck is this? I still have Gabumon plushie kicking around in storage somewhere. <laughs> I have to just... Every time we come across him, my mom goes, I hate that guy. <laughs> the channel I watched on was using the Japanese opening and ending. Digimon... Ah, the Spud of War. Hello, Ganon! Welcome! Yes, we are potatoes! Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon are the champions. Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon are the champions. Change into digital champions to save the digital world. Oh, hi, Riley. <laughs> I still like the ending theme. I am grateful you have come, Ghost of Sparta. The Titan Atlas has been freed from the pits of Tartarus. Oh no! And has taken my brother Helios from his rightful place in the sky. What does Atlas want with the Sun God? Very good question. Helios holds within him the power of the Sun. A power so great it can destroy the world. It cannot be trusted in the hands of a Titan. Please, take the Sun Shield from his throne. Walk through the gates of Olympus, and you will find me. Hurry, Kratos. Even now, my brother suffers at the hand of Atlas. I technically already have the Sun Shield because this is a new game plus run, but we're just not going to worry about that. How do I get over there, though? Ma'am? Miss? Seek Eos in the caves of Olympus, and she will help you find her brother, Helios. I... Oh, wait, what's this? There's a shiny... I know zero, zero things about Digimon. Angel Woman is trans. <laughs> Confirmed. Established here on the Shark Stream, where all canon Digimon facts go to be born. I don't know where I'm going with this. Only the Sun Shield of Helios can open his temple doors. <coughs> Excuse me. I would like Gimme. I already have it, but also Gimme. You have acquired the Sun Shield. Dope. It's actually true, is the thing. Angelmon Digivolves from, among other things, Angelmon. Fair. Uh, everyone should play Inazuma 11 instead. It's like monster collection, but you collect middle schoolers and make them commit atrocities to one another. And then some of them get hit by cars, from what I understand. When I heard some of the Japanese Pokemon anime OP's endings, I got so pissed it wasn't the version TV aired. I love how Gender and Digimon is just fucking shrugs. Helios, reverse! To parry, tap L1 immediately for an enemy attack connects. Alright. Ow! I didn't do it right. I mean, I did it right the second time, but the first time, ooh. Several of them get hit by Cars Cage. I feel like there's one really important one in particular. I learned most of this stuff through osmosis just by knowing you, Audrey. 
Osmosis Jones, that is. Um, they get girders dropped on them a couple times. Who is hurting these children? I was gonna say something, and now I've forgotten. Oh, right. Yeah, I, I've... I remember watching a lot of Digimon as a kid. It never really, like, clicked with me. Um, but I do remember that, um opening big time and it's like always really catchy to me and it's stuck with me forever it's no pokemon english opening though because i don't think anything is ever going to go as hard as the english opening for pokemon yeah the one kid was like yeah i got hit by a car and faked my death afterwards that sounds about right for a nosma 11. <laughs> gotta catch us you and me I know it's my destiny, Pokemon. Oh, you're my best friend. In the world we must defend. Pokemon, gotta catch them. My heart's so true. Our courage will pull us through. You teach me and I teach you. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon. I'm gonna spam you with Japanese openings and endings then. Advance Adventure is so hype. I don't doubt it. I'm just saying, English Pokemon opening fucks. I should get these treasure chests over here first, even though I don't need them, because I'm super busted. There's a Greek Gods themed team in there too that uh got busted for perform performance enhancing drugs. Yo, ain't that just Ambrosia? It's not steroids, it's ambrosia. This comes on the heels of school that demolished other schools that lost to them in soccer games. <laughs> All I remember, the the main thing that I remember the most about Inazuma 11 is Heckle Jide. Because that will haunt me for the rest of my days. There's a Brazilian de dessert As called Kratos Ambrosia. Stepped out into the night. Much had changed outside the temple. Really? It looks mostly the same. Oh, okay. I hate when Morpheus says Harbingers of Darkness continue their relentless march. They really did name him Heckle Jide. They did, and then you made that your handle on some accounts for a little while. I won't let you forget that. No, bad kitty! No! My delicious potato body! No! My delicious potato body! Ouch! Please, I'm so buttery and delicious! Baked to perfection! Why am I not doing that properly? <laughs> They had the coolest themed team and they wasted on being like the first school you fucking trounced.
I just remember there was that episode where, like, the kid with the hair in front of his eyes, who, like, barely talks throughout the whole series, bonds with another guy who used to go to that school, who, because he also has hair in front of his eyes. What a weird anime. <laughs> My son. My sweet baby boy. I'm so sad you were one of the very few who voted for the best server name. Was I? Did that one not win? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I need to see this. I need to go to Lucas's server here real quick. Where is it? Show me the polls. Nobody voted for Arch's large pretty boys? Bullshit! <laughs> Shake my head, no taste, no taste. Euros, the east wind, here rests the spirit of Euros, the east wind, who, see who sees the path of the sun chariot. Fuck, he sure does. Absolutely devastating. Now I need an icon, but I feel extremely uninspired, considering just commissioning someone. You could do that. Wait, so what do I do up here? What's the point of this? Is... what? Um... Hello? Hello? Maybe not secrets, maybe like actually what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, here we go. We in there, we do it, we done boys. How's the oopsie? Solar beam! Gotta free that haunts. Activated. Why do I still have this out? There we go. I thought I had it out as like a game mechanic or something, but then I was just like, wait a minute. Some no, no, nothing about that seemed right at all.
God, I can't believe I'm gonna see Sonic the Hedgehog 2 tomorrow. That's nuts. You must hurry, Kratos. Don't tell me what to do! I am the spud of war and you will respect me! Ladies. The Caves of Olympus. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. You have acquired Triton's Lance. Ain't ain't that the dude what's from Little Mermaid? Triton's Lance gives the ability to breathe underwater. Oh! The graceful dive in the potato suit. I completely missed the swimming tutorial. Okay, it's fine. I figured it out. This is the funniest fucking thing. <laughs> Look at <him> just. <laughs> it's like... Oh wow, I'm losing it. I'm losing it here on the shark stream, live on stream. It's me losing my fucking mind over fucking graceful swimming potato kratos potato soup <laughs> this is fucking place is gonna be a little bit wait where are you dressed like a bean no i'm not dressed like a bean i'm dressed like a potato and it's because i got peer pressured into it <laughs> this is an outfit that you get for beating the game uh once so we're playing on new game plus and I was just like, here's the potato outfit, I'm not going to be using it, and then, wouldn't you know it, I got peer pressured into using it. You can ask Audrey how it happened. She was there. She is at least partially responsible for potatoes. Called him a coward, boo boo, scaredy shark. <laughs> it's true, that did happen. Well, damn, you had no choice. I know, right? There's so much gross algae down here. Like, this is disgusting. Clean your fucking pool.
pool tato. Yeah. Keep swimming, but there's still only soup. I need to get out of this fucking water. Dante Alighieri never needed to swim. Once again, Dante's Inferno, clearly the superior video game. Why are you buying war at the soup store? <laughs> ah! Big boy! Ow. 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 Why is it so fucking hard to find your room? Why is there a ru why is there a rushing rapid? As Kratos entered the cave, Eos, goddess of dawn and sister to Helios, sat above him, visibly weakened by the absence of the sun. Damn, bitch, you live like this. All glory be to Lord Zeus for granting you safe passage to me. The king of the gods does not aid me, Eos. I am but a slave to Zeus and Olympus. That's true. Save my brother, Kratos. Why are your tits and out? Convince Zeus to release you and rid you of the horrors of your past. Like that just I seems unnecessary. The gods have broken their word to me many times. Forgive me if I find it hard to believe your promises. Be that as it may, Kratos. The primordial fire is almost out. Without Helios. The life-giving light of the world cannot Too be sustained. <laughs> Looks hot there. If you do not find him, only darkness and death awaits all of us. Where has Atlas taken him? I do not know, Kratos. Oh, some help you are. Follow the passage out of the cave. Retrieve the fire and it will light your path to the remaining steeds. They will guide you to their master. They will take you to my brother. May you go with the speed of Hermes, Ghost of Sparta. Thanks. Please put a shirt on. I'm begging you. So I got curious... Progress the level, dude. Fuck, IDK. So I got curious about certain Digimon evolutions. Found out about a group of Digimon that I can only describe as weeb nuns. That sounds right. Sister Mons. Why do they exist? Who can say? Vacuum sealed titty Mons. You know that screenshot of like a TV show that's like, tonight's episode, the writer's barely disguised fetish? There you go. I'm just glad Bulkmon exists. It's like they know I exist. <laughs> they made that one for you, Lucas. You specifically. You feed him big slabs of meat like everybody else.
You know, I you know, I said the right word, but I do want to bring attention that you said big slaps of meat. Like like slaps of meat. The primordial fire. The caves of Mount Olympus hold the flame that spawned all others. The primordial fire, which long ago was stolen and given to man by the Titan Prometheus. It is the source of Helios's energy. We're going to be meeting Prometheus in the next game. He's not doing well. If you know anything about the myth of Prometheus, you know that at this very moment, things aren't going well for him. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I'm still dealing with allergies. You have acquired the primordial fire. I, I just have it now. To repel enemy projectiles, tap L1 immediately before the projectile connects. Alright. Hey, boys. How's it hanging? Oh, don't do that. I really wish you wouldn't. Ow. My guts. That's a horrible face on your shield. You need to stop that. You have acquired the Light of Dawn! When holding R1, press square to activate SOLAR FLARE! Alright. Slaps of meat. Aiming Light of Dawn. While holding R1 plus square, use L to target enemies. Alright. Ow. Get fucked, idiot. Prometheus gets eaten out every day and it's not even in a fun way. <laughs> Why would you phrase it like that? Also, I will say it's probably more accurate to say that every day he's getting his guts rearranged. Let's continue. Alley you must hurry, Kratos. I know. Fuck. Calm down. Ow. Ow. Rude. So do I just swan dive? All right, so where I go? Where I go then? Do I just leave? I guess I just leave, huh? I would like to save the game. Thank you! <coughs> oh, by the way. Energy drink reveal. It's a Peach Mango Dawn today. Which I think is what I had last time I played God of War.
Because I had Cannon Kratos as having a butt that won't quit. He does a lot of running around. He's got to have some pretty impressive glutes. That way? What's anything over here? I think it's this way. I think this is the way we want to go. <clears throat> they don't ever show his butt in game, so there's nothing to. Nothing to deter me from from thinking this. Is this satisfying audio? Does everybody like the sounds that are happening right now? Welcome to my asthma stream. Anyway. Is the hair on the back of your neck standing up now? You know, I know that everybody's tired of, like, cinematic universes and stuff like stuff right now, but I was thinking recently about how, like, I think it would be really nice or really neat if, like... So, I like Ryan Johnson movies, like, quite a bit. Um, Knives Out, Brick, Last Jedi. I haven't seen some of his other ones, but, like, there's a, there's a number of ones that I know I really... Did he do Looper? Was he Looper? Hold on. Okay, Google. Who directed Looper? Looper was directed by Ryan Johnson. Ah, I knew it. Looper, Brick, uh, Last Jedi, Knives Out. I, I love Ryan Johnson's work. Um, I still think the idea of certain movies, like, being within the same continuity as each other is, like, neat. This is all to say, I think it would be really neat if, like, a grown-up version of the protagonist from Brick showed up in, like, a Knives Out movie. That's my indie movie take. Kind of like... It's sort of like how, um... Oh, God. Uh... Han from uh and got oh fuck her, and it almost seemed familiar. <laughs> Him looking around in the fucking potato costume. It's kinda like Han from uh Fast and the Furious being like a character from a different movie by that director. 
and him saying that, like, it's the same guy. By the way, if you haven't seen the Fast and the Furious movies, I highly recommend checking out the Fast and the Furious movies. They're really good. Please watch Fast and Furious. Like, don't watch it right now. Keep watching my stream. But when my stream is done, go watch the Fast and the Furious movies. Most importantly, watch them in release order so that you can understand the absolutely bonkers levels of escalation those movies go through. It's very important that you understand just how fucking nuts it is. Notos, the South Wind. Here rests the spirit of Notos, the South Wind, who sets the path of the Sun Chariot. Fuck, it sure does. What does this do? Huh. Okay. I guess maybe I need to move that first. Reflecting puzzle time. Okay. Okay, I see what I have to do. So, what I actually need to do is I need to use these statues. to reflect the beam at other statues. So like, for example, we gotta move this guy over here. Put him right thereabouts. Thinking about Kratos in the future with a world's dad mug. Not best dad, just world's dad. A mug that says, you're a dad. You are a dad. You did it. Congratulations. All right, calm down. Nothing exciting has happened yet. Look at this guy running around in a potato costume, just like, this man is going to be a father in the future. Fuck, I overshot it. What in the goddamn? Um. Okay, what am I supposed to do here?
Aha. Not sure. What is the point of this? So the beams shoot out from there. Oh, I think. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this. I got this. Your boy's got this. Your boy knows what's up. Wait for that to stop moving. Oh, I can't do that. I gotta. Okay. 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 Just got it. Then we gotta give you a little shovey shove. So much work for one potato to do. And I think the point should be you just kind of like get the beam of light going in a full cycle. Just like real, re getting real recursive with it. There we go. Yeah! Hello, Juju! Welcome! Yes, we are a potato! Because I was peer pressured into it. Made it in time for potate. You sure did. And we're gonna be going for probably a little bit longer as well. Five and a half hours, so uh, we might not be going for that much longer, because it seems like we might actually be getting pretty close to the end of the game in all likelihood. Okay, so uh, what do I... I didn't see where it was pointing me to go from here. Do I just go back the way I came? No, I do not go back the way I came. Hey, video game? Hey, video game. Hey, video game. Hey, hey, video game. Where am I going? Hey, video game. Ah, I wasn't paying attention to the screen. Shit. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. We'll figure this out. We got this. We're a potato. What's the worst that could happen? Potato get Ado? I think not oh. Oh, we just leave. Okay. Getting eaten. Worst potato fate. <laughs> Wait, I wanted to go to that floor. Why can't I go to that floor? Come on, you guys. Uh, guys, uh, come on. Uh, ooh, bogus. Uh. Alright, what's all that? Alright, what's all this then? Oi. Wait, what's all this then? What do we got here? We got a chest. Uh, 
that looks like where we're supposed to go. Got another chest over here. Woo! Can I finish this in one stream? Maybe. I probably shouldn't. I should probably stop at, like, the three-hour mark, honestly. I don't want to overdo it, you know? Twenty hours. If this game ends up taking me 20 hours, then I'm definitely doing something wrong. Alright, what do we got here? Oh. This boy is borking. I'm sure there's more stuff after I get all the steeds, right? There's probably like whole other levels. It wouldn't go straight to the end game, would it? What? Would it? I don't. I admittedly don't really remember the way the, how this game. Kratos. All right. What is happening? Okay. Zephyros, the West Wind. Here rides, rests the spirit of Zephyros, the West Wind, who walks the path of the Sun Chariot. Fuck. He sure does. Alright, um... How I... Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. That's the last steed. Well, okay, there's one more steed. There's four steeds. But we have to get the first three to get to the fourth one. Oh, this is where that went, is it? Okay. We were here closer to the beginning of the game. It's doing the God of War thing, where the level is just completely As recursive. Kratos left the temple, he was assaulted by the army of Morpheus. Oh, I don't and want again, that. He heard the haunting melody. But this time, he recognized it as the song of his daughter, Calliope. I never read that as Calliope. I always read it as Calliope. My daughter, where are you? Calliope! Is that like a projectile or oh? I think this big scary face is supposed to be the god of dreams, Morpheus. But I also straight up don't know. That's how I always interpreted it. Whenever I would play or watch footage of this game.
Fuck, that was the wrong button. Oh no! Owned. Open up. Thank you. Horse time. But it's not. Come on. This might only be a two-stream game, though, I'm thinking. Just based on our progression. So Helios' chariot shows up again in God of War 3, and it neither looks nor works like this by the way. At least I don't remember it doing With so. the release of the fire steeds, Kratos was now in the hands of the beasts. And where they would take him, he did not know. His mistake. Kratos not giving a fuck. Let's go, horsies. We. Kratos out here whittling a flute for his daughter. I remember having a horse and a family that I slaughtered. Oh yeah, see, there's the slaughter. Ares! <laughs> As the steeds pulled Kratos away from the grip of Morpheus, they crossed into the underworld. Again? But in the land of the dead, they could go no further. For these beings of light were not welcome in Hades. Oh, not that. Oh, come on. No, wait. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh. He's dead again? It's not a God of War game if we don't go to the underworld at least once. Kratos found himself on the very edge of Hades. The land where no mortal had set foot. Here, where the souls of the dead walk their fated path. Kratos knew that for him, this was merely the beginning. God, his jawbones are so pointy. I wonder if we should stop here. I could probably go a little bit longer. Maybe give it like another ten minutes. The beginning, the beginning, the falls of Oceanum. Shield your eyes. She's got a look that turns a man to stone. The moonlight stained glass colors move against the wall. Until sunrise, see the shadows dance across the hall. Dripping poison 
giving darkness blood and bone. Shield your eyes. She's got a look that turns a man to stone. Ow! Dick! What?! What?! Hey, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I was hitting the butt. Why don't the like shoulder button prompts work for me? I don't get it. Why would David Jaffe do this to me? David Jaffe didn't work on this game. I'm gonna blame him all the same. This game seems good. This game's not bad, but I am also playing it on New Game Plus. So that's making it a little less grindy, a little less abrasive for me cuz i'm just decimating everything also i'm a potato so i mean that's helping maybe i should try something else Being a potato does make it a hundred times better. It's true. I'm glad that I was peer pressured into this. A Gorgon! two of them now. Ah, oh, there's two of them. No, haha, don't turn me to stone. You're so sexy. Haha. I would like to leave this room. Thank you. You know, the Clash of the Titans remake had a pretty good design for Medusa. It also didn't have any Titans in it. You know, it did have a Titan in it. Was its sequel, Wrath of the Titans? It had exactly one Titan in it. It was also pretty bad.
if I get close to these, it hurts me. Nope. I love that that siren's just sitting there, like, not doing anything. These are what sirens are supposed to look like in pro via the Odyssey, by the way. Little fun fact for you. They're like those weird little bird bird peoples. Little bird peoples. I'm getting tired. This energy drink is wearing off. Huh. So what am I supposed to what am I supposed to do here? I don't think I want to fall into the blood river. That seems like it would be a bad idea. Ah, here we go. So maybe I use this to get up there. Ow! Come on, guys, I just got here. Hopping off. Have fun, Gage. Thank you! Where I'm actually probably going to be stopping uh, here in a sec since I found the save point. Let's go ahead and bust down this pillar and then we'll call it a stream. Is that what I was supposed to do? Is that going to allow me to like... Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So that's going to be it for today. I want to thank everybody for coming by the stream. I hope you all had a good time. I know I did. If you enjoyed the stream, you can subscribe here on Twitch. Um, a bunch of people are now because Natalie sent uh, sent out 10 gift subs. Um, and as a result, you'll all have access to, uh, at the moment, all of my emotes. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at Sane underscore Intolerant or on YouTube at YouTube.com slash Sane Intolerant where I post all the streams after they happen. Uh, upcoming stream. Oh, art for the stream was done by Lucas, whose work you can find on Twitter at Discamera. That's D I S C H E Y M E R A. Um, his stuff is not safe for work, so just kind of keep that in mind if you do decide to go check it out. Um, upcoming streams. We will not be streaming tomorrow. B is going to be off, uh, attending a uh, live show for a murder podcast, as fr from what I understand. Uh, and I will be seeing Sonic the Hedgehog 2, so I will be reporting back on that both on Twitter and, in all likelihood, on Saturday stream, where I will be playing Resident Evil 2, and probably finishing it. 
Um, next Wednesday will be more Twilight Princess. Next Thursday will be probably finishing Chains of Olympus if the uh, How Long to Beat page and our progression so far is any indication. Um, and then from there, we're going to move on to God of War 2. So that's exciting. Um, what else? I think that's it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here and I'll see you next time on the shark stream. Same shark time, same shark channel. Hold on. Is anybody streaming right now? Hold on one second. Let me see if there's someone we can raid. Doesn't look like there's anyone streaming right now, as far as I can tell. Well, hold on. Hold on. No, I don't think anyone's streaming. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thanks, everybody. Y'all have a good one. See you next time, same shark time, same shark channel. Bye-bye. <laughs>